Madison County Board of Commissioners comes to order Monday, October 16th. Time is 6 p.m. Commissioner Wall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Tonight we have uh, a Reverend Commissioner Paul Dale Brown is going to deliver our invocation to plea. All minds clear. Help us, Master. Lord, we can't get along without you. Help us, Master. In a world of wars, pain, and hurt. Lord, we struggle for peace among men. For we know soon it'll be the end, but help us, Master. Give us eyes to see the good in others. Give us ears that will hear to understand rather than to confront. Give us a spirit to forgive and remember that, but for your grace, we would all fall short. Lord, help us to be good stewards over all that you've entrusted in our hands, Father, that your will might be done and your people might be blessed. And Lord, we claim the victory over our weaknesses. We claim the victory over our pride. We claim the victory over our self-egos. And above all, Lord, we claim victory in your matchless name of Jesus. We ask and make this appeal. Amen. 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 I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Roll call. Abernathy. Here. Ada. Here. Alexander. Here. Arnold. Yes. Black. Present. Bond. Brown. Yeah. Brian Cindy. Here. Brian Knight. Here. Deaton. Ellison. Here. Godwin. Here. Hale. Here. Hall. Hicks. Present. Johnson. Jones. Present. Martin. Here. Mercer. Montague. Here. Neal. Here. Taylor. Here. Tippett. Here. Wall. Here. Watson. Here. Any presidents, Chairman? Right. How many presidents? 20 presidents. Any public comments? Anyone like to speak? Announcements from the chair. A uh, couple of quick notes I want to share with you. And I notice there's a change in the uh, format of what we've been doing and I had a conversation with Dr. King and some of the others that they don't always have information to give us so he agreed that we're not going to put him on the um, agenda every week but I told him anytime he needs to speak the chamber needs to speak anyone needs to speak all they got to do is let us know or if they get here at the last second, they can raise their hand. They're going to be able to speak. I can promise you that. Um, so I wanted to explain that change. We're just trying to speed the process up a little bit. And if one of you, and, and I'm just using Dr. <coughs> King as an example because we had a conversation about this, but if one of you wants a report from Dr. King, please ask him to give us one. <coughs> and he'll be glad to do so. But... Uh, he's kind of like me. He's not a real big public speaker, and we both agreed on that part. Uh, second thing, I want us to keep Commissioner Bryant and Commissioner Kevin Hicks in our prayers. Uh, they've lost some loved ones, and we need to remember them. And uh, we're sorry for your losses. One thing that um, I want to share with you we got a, um, a beautiful thank you card and i'm going to send it around from the mercer family uh, when i was a young salesperson at tom lawler's and we called her miss charlene whenever she came into the office back then with her smile and her personality everything stopped work stopped 
and there would be about 30 or 40 people around her the whole time she was in there. And this is just a beautiful card, so I'm going to send it around, let everybody take a look at it. And we want to appreciate them and keep them in your prayers as well moving forward because I know they have all have huge losses in their lives. Report and presentations from the county mayor. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'll echo your words of condolences uh, to those who have lost folks. We, uh, the masses have kept you in our prayers as we've heard things. Um, I do want to take a little bit of time to introduce uh, a new county employee. He is um, six days on the job. Yes, sir. This is uh, this is Mr. Matthew Martin. He is our new uh, Park and Recreation Parks and Recreation Director. Uh, he comes to us from Kentucky. He's turned his back on bourbon and he's taken on whiskey. <laughs> Come down here to Tennessee. Uh, 25 years of experience in public service. Uh, he has a master's degree in park administration. I didn't know that was even a thing, but he's got that. Uh, and this is the first time I'm meeting him, so um, nice to meet you. We talked on the phone a few times, but uh, got his resume here. Comes to us from McCracken County Senior Center in Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, we expect big things out of our parks. That is one place that our uh, community, Jackson, and otherwise interact with our county directly. It's either the courthouse, renewing their, their taxes, paying their taxes, renewing their car tax, or going to one of our parks, uh, primarily our sports-related sports parks. So um, I would like personally some attention to be there. Uh, but I want to welcome uh, Mr. Martin, if you want to have any words, or uh, you can just say hi. Well, hello, everybody. I am from Kentucky. I will not be wearing UT orange. I've been. I've worked for the state of Tennessee. They tried to convert me. It didn't work. I'm still a cat fan, but you know y'all can beat us in football, so I'll take that beating now. But there is basketball season coming. <laughs> if you have any questions about the parks? I'd love to hear it. Any comments, concerns? I want to meet with our county commissioners one on one and talk to you about what's in your region, what you what you want to see, and what your constituents want to see. Because that's the way I do business. I want to see what the people want. And uh, whatever they tell me they want, that's what I'm going to go for. So uh, I'm happy to be in Jackson. I'll be relocating down here. I'm, I'm in the in the in, in the interim right now. So glad to be here, and uh, you know, hopefully I get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis soon. Mr. Black, Mr. Chairman, and I know him from years ago. He worked for Partez. Yes, sir. For years, and CARTAS is kind of like CTAS. They advise the park system, so we've got a good man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if you shop for houses, we have some realtors out here. And I know your favorite uh, commissioner is going to be Mr. Nehoff, a big Kentucky fan as well. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Nehoff. Chair, yeah, I actually uh, was born in Baptist Hospital, uh, Western Baptist. Me too. Uh, I moved here in 88 to Jackson, so Jackson's home, but Paducah is my roots. So. And I'm a UK alumni, so I will be rooting for the cats. Uh, this is my time, Commissioner Meal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> After you're done, Mr. Chair, we do need to approve the minutes. I yes, I got it. Yeah. Uh, next thing I'd like to remind everybody, we have a guest here from West Tennessee Healthcare. And uh, next Tuesday, there's a meeting uh, with West Tennessee Healthcare with the county commissioners as well as city council persons uh, to talk about the relationship with the city, county, and the hospital and the financial situation of the hospital right now and some education around how that works. There's been lots of questions about that recently. Uh, I understand there hasn't been a lot of um, RSVPs to that, so I'd just personally like to ask you to, to, to make some time to be to that meeting next Tuesday if you can. If you don't know about it, let me know. I'll get you info. Uh, but uh, I think I think uh, it would be well worth your time to attend next Tuesday and uh, learn a little bit more about our hospital system. And then next, I want to uh, congratulate our new chair and just tell you, as I was perusing the Internet this week, uh, you know, not thinking about the county. I was on fall break with my family. I came across a picture that I think... Um, Ms. Karen, you have a picture for me that will make me uh, proud of our new county commission chair. Uh, that, is, that is Mike Taylor standing behind uh, Coach Lane Kiffin of, of the Ole Miss Rebels. So I can tell you, all 24 of you sitting out here, if you think you're going to get it under skin, if one of those SEC coaches can't do it, I don't think you have a shot. So uh, congratulations on your first meeting. Thank you. <coughs> And it being my first meeting, I forgot to ask for a motion to approve the minutes. So, so moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimous. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Reports from county officials, standing and special committees, any old business action there on by the board? Nobody? Moving along, any amendments, transfers to the general fund, school department, capital projects, highway department, debt service, juvenile court services, budgets for the fiscal year 2023-24? Commissioner Alexander. Uh, budget committee met and we uh, took up five amendments. Um, luckily, these five amendments don't have anything to do with fund balance. So, uh, first one uh, is going to be insurance and recovery funds uh, the, uh, for the fire department for uh, $200. It's reimbursement for live fire training. Committee okay. recommendation, um, no second required. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. Most Second one is also through the fire department, $65,000 out of uh, the capital fund, the sale of fire vehicles. Uh, committee recommendation, no second required. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, number three is a transfer uh, for EMA and Homeland Security. It's a $500 for the special purpose. It moves funds from other salaries to Social Security. It's committee recommendation. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Item four is uh, grants for the Sheriff's Department uh, for the school resource officers uh, for $1.950 million. Uh, it's new funding from the state of Tennessee for the SRO program. Committee recommendation. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Next one's for the county clerk's office. That comes out of their state, manda uh, state mandated reserves. Uh, it's ten thousand uh, dollars. <coughs> places four PCs, adds two workstations, and, and run network cables and electric for two uh, positions. Committee recommendation. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. Motion passes. Mr. Chairman, uh, that completes the the, the normal uh, budget amendments. Uh, but I also have one that was a late arrival, but we're going to have to uh, have to have a request to suspend the minutes for us to take that up. I have a motion to suspend the rules? Yes, sir. My motion to suspend the rules would be to take up this amendment based on the 150 plus thousand dollars to the school system for their ed capital fund to uh, specifically um, uh, fund uh, some technology for safety and security as well as uh, some teacher. Um, um, grant program. Uh, so I have a motion and a second to suspend the rules to take this up. Any discussions? Go ahead. All right, we're ready. Um, Just point of order. Mm -hmm. I think we need to vote to suspend the rules. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, all those in favor of suspending the rules say aye. 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 All those opposed? Now we need to vote. This is for this is uh, amendment is for uh, 150 thousand out of Ed Capital for the Fuses camera system. You can see it on the board. Um, what the uh, what I was going to be involved in. It's just uh, this. We've been talking about this for a while, and I'll let Karen speak to the rest of it. This will have to come from our general fund. It's not budgeted right. into education capital, so we can't move it into that fund. We'll have to pay for it out of the general fund on behalf of the school system. Okay, so we can't move it in there. No, audit will not allow us to do that. Okay. As Fine. All right. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, concerning the, there will be a thirty-five thousand dollar carryover annually for the maintenance on this on this technology. <coughs> will we be able to put that for years following? We can fund that in a capital. Yes. It's just that it's not allocated in your penny appropriation, nor is it in that fund at this time. Okay. So that's the reason. Um, so the 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 motion would change then. Uh, did, well, I guess we haven't made a motion yet, so no. we're just we taking this up. Right, we're just having discussion. So the importance behind this, just so everyone understands the technology, is this is a software that will allow, and, and I'm sure that uh, Commissioner Wall and the Sheriff can speak to it as well, uh, that a teacher will have an alarm system either at her desk or at his on his belt or his necklace where he can push a button, and if that button is pushed, the cameras in that area will automatically feed to E911 and the local police departments, which will cut down in the delay in information that, that gets to the people responding, right? Of course, we're funding SROs and the school funds their own SO, SSO program. And so we're very focused on, as a commission and hopefully a school board, to be continuing to fund the, the, the needs of our, of our schools when it comes to safety. From my understanding, because of the timing of this request from 
either with JPD, I think it's who it flowed through originally, it was after the budget process. And so they, were, they, weren't, be able, they weren't gonna be able to do it this year. And so they couldn't prioritize it. So we, we wanna prioritize it. And in the conversations that we've had in budget and elsewhere, we, this is something that I think is really important to do. And so the number is exactly 150,000. And I would make the motion that we, that we transfer the 150,000 from our general fund uh, to fund these two, these two items. I'd like to second that motion. Commissioner Godwin. I would like to second the okay. motion. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Commissioner Godwin, would you like to speak? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was at the meeting uh, this morning for the school board and uh, Mr. Gatlin brought up the fact that they, the state is giving them money, a grant for this very thing. It's called, I guess it was a safety grant. So how much of that, how much of that grant should go or apply to the 150,000 that we're giving to them? Are you aware of that grant? No, I'm not aware. Okay, anybody here aware of the grant? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they, are, they are receiving a safety grant, but the amount has not been determined yet. Okay. They just filed application for it, but it's a large sum of money. Well, that's why I'm wondering why we, if we're getting a grant for that, would, why would we give the school system $150,000 if they're receiving a grant for it? Damn. So should we wait? until we find out how much the grant is before we give them any any funds for that? Commissioner Brown. She's addressing also the topic that I was going to raise is that I knew that the governor has set aside and that the school board was supposed to be pursuing security related funds from what he set aside. I, I was concerned about how this could impact, but um, I have nothing to say now. You said it well. <laughs> Well, Mr. Walton. Be mindful of all of that, and, and this is the answer that I received when I inquired about it, and I've been in those some of those meetings that, that uh, are talking about it. Yes, there is a grant that is going to be uh, available for this very thing. However, that grant also covers all safety and security, not just this. So this is not, uh, a, it's not a grant just for this. There's other things that are being required by the state, like there's film, window film, safety film for all the windows in, mm -hmm. in all of our schools, and, and uh, uh, the foyers mm -hmm. have to be fortified and, and secure. There's a lot of things that uh, that fall under that particular grant. And my understanding from the superintendent and the board was that this is outside of that what they already had planned to actually uh, do for safety and security for the schools. Well, would it not be wise? Well, I'm sorry, excuse me. Commissioner Godwin. <coughs> Some of us was in the call meeting and we are aware of the fact that uh, today, they discussed this grant, but they made it cognitive of us supporting it tonight. So it's on hold right now unless we support to pay for it. And I hate these questions came at the, at the last minute, but uh, I, I do want support for this grant. And I'm asking for support for this grant. I don't understand why person didn't come up before now, though. Mr. Mr. Chairman, is it guaranteed that we will receive the grant? Is that a guarantee? Does anyone know that's a guarantee? Most know. grants, is guaranteed. when you apply for grants, they are not necessarily guaranteed. You don't know if you're going to get them. So I would not risk us not doing this based on the fact that we assume we're going to get a grant. Well, Mr. Gatlin's words were, we are going to receive a safety grant. He didn't say, we're hoping we wish, none of that. I think that we should get our information first and at least know or itemize what it's being used for and consider that maybe it will cover some of that 150,000. I mean, I, I just ask that we put a hold on this until we know. I don't understand why nobody here has the information. Again, Mr. Chair, my question is, the, the, the superintendent wrote a letter assuming he was aware of the grant <clears throat> he still wrote a letter requesting it, so I'm assuming it's a necessity and it's needed. Commissioner Brown, I'm very sorry. briefly, it appears that all the parties involved are in step with this. The urgency is that nowadays I don't trust anything as related to security as being put on the back burner. <clears throat> if I happen to win the lottery tomorrow, then I can go and replace it. 
But the thing, the urgency is right now, and I hope that, that that's the way we'll go. Commissioner Martin. Something I want to share, he was standing, I know well he had a comment on this particular issue. Yes, so the Sheriff's Department, we're going to fuse this also. But uh, we had the money, ours is not, uh, ours is $50,000 a year. But the city's going on it. The school system has it, had intended going on it. Uh, we, had, we initially uh, reached out to the grant manager over this $1.9 million for the SRO uh, to see if we could use some of that money to help the school system pay for their part of fishes. And we couldn't. So I think they're going to try to, they've got this, school, this other school grant, but uh, we had to have Coach Catlett, here, somebody here, discuss. There are some things that they've got to do, uh, putting this safety film on all the windows, and there's a lot of things they have to do. <clears throat> I know with the quote that the Sheriff's Department got from Fuchsia's, and everybody was in the same conversation as far as the, the police department and uh, Sheriff's Department school system. Uh, this proposal that Fuchsia's gave us uh, was only good uh, to, the, to uh, the end of September. So we had to sign a letter of intent and, and we got some breaks, uh, some financial breaks by doing that. But, I mean, that, I wish the school system was here, but the school system, we, 26 different schools, 25 different schools, they've all got different camera systems. And the only way that law enforcement and the school system can network all these cameras is through, uh, through this platform with Fuchsia's. So if, uh, if we have a situation in school where a teacher's in a classroom and they have uh, the application on their phone, uh, there's a SOS application on there. So they can hit a SOS button and any camera that's in, uh, that's in the vicinity of the SOS button, will, with law enforcement can get live footage on. So if it's an active shooter situation, we can gain valuable intelligence before we arrive. Uh, as far as uh, Mr. Bryant, I mean, the, I mean, the school system could do the same thing as the Sheriff's Department. I mean, we could always, uh, uh, they could always attempt to apply for reimbursement through this safety and security grant, depending on how much money they receive. Uh, so, I, I mean, there, there may be, uh, they may be able to get the funding back, but, uh, I mean, really, and I, I just, while I'm up here, I'll give you an update on uh, the school's uh, SRO program. We've hired 11 SROs, so that brings us up to almost 21. Uh, so we've got coverage in all the high schools and middle schools. Uh, right now, what we're doing uh, in elementary school is uh, if we, we've got rovers that's assigned multiple, multiple schools, and then district cars are also patrolling there. But we still got about nine or 10 SROs that we have to hire. So, I mean, we have to rely on technology to help us police these locations. Uh, so, I just know with us, uh, the contract that we went under with Fuchsia's was only, uh, that price break was only through September. We had to sign a letter of intent saying that we would agree to it. And uh, so, that's kind of, anybody got any questions for me about that? I'll tell you what I know about it. I've been a few years. Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned SRO and all the we have a What about ever make? Yeah, we, well, we, we, like I said, we, we've hired 11. We still need to hire about nine SROs. I understand that, but what, what about putting them there in elementary school? Right now, they're I in think high school and middle think school. Just, I think it's just important in high school and middle school, elementary school. Yeah, but we don't have the staffing right now. So what I told you is we have two SROs that are assigned to multiple uh, elementary schools that are going around. Also, the district cars are logging checks. So, I mean, we're actively trying to hire SROs every day. Um, we, we said initially, uh, when we started this program, I mean, <clears throat> there is a, a extreme shortage in law enforcement uh, across the country. And, and we have <coughs> a pretty good job by getting 11 hired uh, in the past few months. So our expectations are, are to get them all filled, but it's very competitive. Well, I personally think elementary deserves more so than high school and middle school. 
Commissioner, what do you not understand? We don't have the staffing. And I just explained to you how we're trying to cover that till we get these additional deputies hired. Uh, if we've got 26 schools and we only have 20 SROs, then there's six schools that's 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 not gonna be filled. So we're we're assigning deputies in the district to patrol those and it's a it's our priority to get those positions hired. Uh Jeff, and I would do respect to you, I don't guess you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. What why are you why, saying? Why couldn't there some of that uh, high school or middle school been left out rather than elementary? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Commissioner Bryant, you were standing. I'm gonna go to him. Um Commissioner Bryant, back to your concern. I appreciate you watching after every dollar. I did the same thing. Uh, however, I would like to submit my support for this $150,000. Um, I think that if, from a critical infrastructure standpoint, I don't think we could spend two to $5 million worth of a grant hardening our schools enough. So this is a drop in the bucket. And I'd like to lay the question on the table. Second. Second. Question is being called. Who's seconded? Ms. Godwin. Ms. Godwin. Questions have been called. Roll call. Hmm. Let's vote. No, let's, all those in favor of question, say aye. aye. All those opposed. Now, roll call on the original motion for the hundred and fifty thousand for the FUSA software for the schools. Abernathy. Yes. Ed. Yes. Alexander? Yes. Arnold? Yes. Black? Yes. Fine. Brown? Yes. Bryant, Cindy? Pass. I'm sorry, ma'am. Pass. Thank you. <clears throat> Bryant, Mike? Yes. Deaton? Ellison? Yes. Godwin? Yes. Hill? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dick? Yes. Johnson, Arthur? Jones? Yes. Martin? Yes. Mercer? Montague? Yes. Nehoff? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Tippett? Yes. Wall? Yes. Watson? Yes. I heard uh, correctly, Mr. Chairman. Why the vote for being accountable, Mr. Chairman? We had to briefly uh, uh, state that the expediency of this would not one, <clears throat> increase uh, response time, two, in light of the absence of manpower whatever, it can create a level of security that in, in case something were to happen, that we don't have protection for right now. And lastly, is that we have a deadline on this opportunity. So, you know, um, I don't think we need to scratch our heads. Yeah, I heard correctly, I got 20 yes, one no for absent. 20 yes, one no for absent, motion passes. I passed. I didn't say that. There was one pass, yes. You said no. you I'm said sorry. One, one pass. Oh, well, yes, I'm sorry. Kind of late. One last thing, and I have to get the, our financial director to help explain this one, though, uh, is the financial services contract that was signed between the school system and our finance department uh, to continue doing their financial services that they do for the school system. Originally, it was budgeted for 325000 We've now we've uh, settled with school system to uh, only charge them two seventy five and giving them fifty thousand back to the school system that we can track that will be used in the classroom and the superintendent has agreed to that. <laughs> yes, I mean what Dr. King told me is he's going to set up that fund specifically separate and teachers will be able to write grants for their classrooms, and we'll know that it's exactly going where it's supposed to go. Uh, any other amendments, transfers? Um, resolution of the Madison County Board of Commissioners approving the incurrence of debt by Jackson Madison County General Hospital District. Mr. Blankenship. Lincoln Jeff, I'm the Chief Financial Officer for West Tennessee Healthcare, which is the Jackson Madison County General Hospital District. 
Carl Lindsay, my friend, <laughs> Chief Counsel uh, Charlene Revere, to help me answer any questions you guys may have tonight. I know this can be somewhat confusing <clears throat> when we bring these from time to time, but let me just say the district was formed by private act, and that's what governs everything we do as it relates to our business. Uh, when we issue debt, uh, as we do from time to time, it is uh, when it is tax exempt debt, it requires approval uh, by the city and the county, right? So that's why I'm here today. We are right in the middle of paying off uh, one amount of our debt and <coughs> issuing another set of debt, as you can see in the resolution, up to $80 million. The actual number will probably be closer uh, to $50 million. It depends on the projects that we're able to attach that debt to. <coughs> we hope to be able to close on that transaction um, before Thanksgiving. So we're coming today, first of all, to ask you for approval of that transaction. And just a little bit of background, the hospital district issues its debt, its tax exempt <coughs> debt, as hospital revenue bonds of the city of Jackson. That means they are not general obligations of the city and county. It is the hospital revenues that are pledged uh, to support that debt. So that's really important, I think, to understand. That's always been the case, and there's nothing about today's resolution that changes that. We have about 300 or so million dollars in debt. This will increase this to about 350 million dollars. And just a word or two about why we're doing this. Uh, we're right in the middle of an EMR, an electronic medical record replacement. So that's our core technology system. We're <coughs> moving that to a new platform over the next couple of years. That's requiring significant capital investment for us. That's the reason for the debt fundamentally. <coughs> On the other side of this transaction, which is expected to be completed next year, we expect our capital needs to go back down and to be able to restructure our debt and replace some of this, either pay it off or restructure it with another debt. So that's the background of what we're asking for in terms of the one transaction. The other thing that's included in this resolution is an approval uh, to continue to issue transactions like this uh, ongoing, right? So there is a specific state statute, and Charlene can help me out here, or, uh, that requires approval by the creating municipality. That would be you guys and the city. That's why we're here tonight and why we come every time. So this part of the resolution would approve us to be able to continue to do these kinds of routine transactions on an ongoing basis without coming back for each individual transaction. So that's the two things that this resolution does. I'll pause there and see if Charlene wants to add anything or if you all have any questions for us. Mr. Chairman, this has routinely been pretty much just a straight pass through because uh, it's basically a contract and law. Their function, I so move, it will be granted. Commissioner Alexander. Um, my only question would be um, if y'all don't have to come back to the, the creating bodies or whatever, and let's just say the hospital borrowed themselves into oblivion, what is the county on the hook for? So the county would not be on the hook for anything. There's no way that a debtor of the city or county could come after, uh, the hospital could come after the city or county. Uh, they would extinguish the hospital's assets right. and, and repay that, but not come after the city. But what about the indigent care of the citizens of this county? Would the county not be, in, be responsible for that either way? Well, <coughs> only to the extent there was another facility here that needed that support in some way. So could we, do, you have a, do you have an idea, of, and, and it should be a simple question, but do you have an idea of what right now the, 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 the hospital is providing in indigent care to the county every year right now? So globally in all 19 counties, so we serve a 19 county region, it's about $100 million of charity and indigent care that we're providing. Right. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Uh, yeah, I spoke uh, at length with um, uh, J.R. Ross, president of the hospital, CEO of the hospital. And in lieu of that requirement, so to speak, to come back and address this body, I've asked him that any time this happens that we get an update at the budget committee meeting and at full commission and also maybe set up a recurring <laughs> report from the hospital more than once a year, once every year and a half. I don't know what the tradition has been, uh, but do that more often so that we can all understand what's going on. And once again, or you be the next Tuesday because you can understand why all this is set up this way and when it started and what it looks like today. 
Yeah, and I would just add to that. We're, we're always available. We've had that annual meeting. It used to be an annual meeting. It kind of got off track with COVID. So we invite you to come. Anytime you have questions, of course, our information is public. We provide our audit. You guys appoint our board members as well as liaisons to our board. And so this really doesn't change any of that. And there's absolutely no reason if you desire to in the future, you could rescind that approval, right, and say we don't feel comfortable with that anymore. Really, this was intended just to reduce the confusion of coming all the time. And every time we do, and I understand it, it cre creates this question of what's the obligation of the city and the county, right? And so it's just hopefully a way to, to clear the air, so to speak. Commissioner Dehoff. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your time. Um, I guess my concern, I guess, for this is I would call 80 million a routine in any way, shape, or form uh, for any organization. So I think transparency is great. I have no problem with you guys coming here every time and talking about this. I don't really think it's confusing. Uh, I think you just need to read about it as, as a commissioner and as a citizen. You should understand what the hospital is doing. Um, so I, I don't really believe this is a problem to do come here. I mean, how often do you have you guys come here? Not necessarily you, but the hospital to do this in the last decade? About every couple of years. We're right. Doing something with that. <laughs> That's not really cumbersome to you, I don't believe, is it? No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Godwin. Um, I appreciate your comment, and, and, and I'm learning some every day. Uh, but in regard to what he asked you to all the counties, specifically to Madison County, what is the indebtedness? Sorry, I don't have that number off the top of my head. Oh, that's all right. I can get it for you. So I will say about 60% of our patients are from Madison County. Or 40%, I'm sorry, 60% are from outside Madison County. 60% of our employees are also from outside Madison County. Uh, any other questions? Commissioner? I guess I have a question. You said that you needed 50 million, but we're requesting for 80. Could you okay. explain that, that, I guess? Yeah, so this is specifically a tax exempt bond issue, right? We have other ways of raising debt. This one is tax exempt. And for a tax exempt bond issue, we have to attach it to specific projects that meet tax exempt purposes. And so, for example, that the electronic medical record project that we're looking to replace, we've got to identify the part of that project that meets tax exempt purposes. The part that would not would be anything that relates to a management agreement or a third party like Methodist Le Bonner that we've just had bring to the hospital, right? So because of that, it's sort of a fluid list of projects that we're working through with tax council to determine what makes the most sense. Uh, for what projects are assigned to that. And right now, when we wrote this and submitted it, we included up to 80, but we weren't sure where that number would land. But right now, it looks like that's going to be close to 50 million. <laughs> Mr. Chair, I'd like to um, recommend an amendment to this resolution, removing the portion where they no longer have to come back. I don't think we have an amendment or I mean a motion on the floor. We've got a motion to he, approve he the made resolution. A motion, but, there no but there was no Still second. second for it. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll second the question. Second. Well, well, we got a second. Mr. Browns. For a legal, uh, legal question, I think the agreement that we have with the hospital is that the governing body, city and county, it's just housekeeping, sign off. The liabilities are always on the holdings, the real holdings, it has been for the last 50 years of the hospital. The county mayor appoints one year. The city mayor appoints one year. But as far as liabilities, they are shifting. We didn't start off with, we would not have, have not had the response when they buy property. I'm, I'm talking country, so a person like me can say. When they buy properties, it's be it in town or wherever, that affects their debt. And they do this as, and we kind of signed off. Like when the house thought they're going to build a new development, the city just signs and agrees that county where it's happening, but even though it's federal money, so it's just a street. In my, did I say that wrong? No, you're you're correct. <laughs> the liability for the debt belongs to the hospital right. district, right. not to the county and the city. Yeah, Commissioner Wall, Sorry. I think that, uh, and I'm I'm for this resolution with the amendment that's been added, uh, and the reason is because in in what Commissioner Brown was talking about. I still think because we are technically or could possibly be on the hook for up to $100 million, whatever it is for our, our county, 
uh, for the indigent care and things like that. I still think that we need to have uh, this open communication and them coming back to us to be able to discuss what it is and things like that, just so we keep updated on that. That uh, you know. Jay, we've got a first and a second to approve as is, and then we've got an amendment. We've got an amendment. The amendment hasn't been seconded yet. Second. It has now, so we can vote on the amendment first. Right? It would be easier to, uh, for me to recommend an amendment to his motion? Yes. Okay. I'd like to. Are we, uh, Commissioner Breyer, are you, are you making an amendment to the resolution? Is there a certain part that you're removing? Um, yes, sir. The, okay. the portion where it alleviates them of having to come back after the $80 million has been okay. raised. Okay. What part is that? Section. Uh, Fourth paragraph and then section one. Commissioner Black. I have a question for our legal. The city approved the resolution as written. Do both bodies have to approve it for it to be valid, or can it be that we do it and the city they report to just us? when they're wanting the bond issue approved, or do both bodies have to agree? That's a good question. Um, sure, go ahead. <laughs> First, let me say for that Tuesday meeting, we're going to be serving catfish. How's oh. that? Well, that's a part that, that's a good thing. It's something else. What is it? Barbecue. 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 Please come. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, sir, so the city and county approved independently. If the, city, the city has approved this as written, we will not go back to them. But if yes. you approve it with an amendment, so we will we'll be coming back to you. Right. Okay. We've also been working with the state comptroller on this. The comptroller has to sign off on all this TP as well. It's a, a lot of hurdles that one has to jump through tomorrow, routine $80 million. <laughs> uh, the comptroller's been working with us on this process, and we're working with them on this approval going forward. The, the law that requires y'all to approve this is a 1971 law that's been on the books since that time has never been changed. Keep in mind the private acts that create hospitals, each one of them is different. Some cities and counties have way, way more obligations toward their hospitals and more reason to be involved in it. In our case, we've got kind of a, a very independent district that functions very well. So, but, but certainly, if you feel that the, a need for us to come back for approval is there, that's certainly your process. Yeah. And let me say, I, I hope you understand, resolution or not, we are always available to come to any meeting, provide our financials whenever you need it, or audit, yeah. whatever. So nothing that we do here will change that one way or the other. I think we need to vote on the amendment first. We need to vote on the amendment, and then if there's a change to it, um, Who's second we can the just amendment? get together before it's signed. You second the amendment? Yeah. We can, we can. Are we striking section one on that resolution, or, or the whole section one, or? or? Well, I believe it would be the fifth par whereas paragraph, and then section one. But I'd like to consult with West Tennessee Health Care's Council to ensure that. You know, we're striking the, the correct parts as well before it's signed. But I think everybody's in, under the uh, understanding of, of what the intent, is being, the intent to be removed is. Yeah, this is an we're voting on an amendment right now just so they have to come back and ask for permission to redo uh, the bonds. Roll call. Voting on the amendment, correct? Uh, just the amendment. Okay. Amendment. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Yes. Alexander. Yes. Arnold. No. Black. No. Fine. Brown. Yes. Bryant. Yes. Bryant Mike. Yes. Deaton. Ellison. No. Godwin. Yes. Hill. Yes. Hall. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Johnson. Jones. Yes. Martin? No. Mercer? Montague? Yes. Niehoff? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Tippett? Yes. Wall? Yes. Watson? Yes.
15. Passes, 16 yes, four no, one pass. Now we'll vote on the actual resolution. Roll call. Abernathy? Yes. Ada? Yes. Alexander? Yes. Arnold? Yes. Black? Yes. Bond? Brown? Yes. Bryant Cindy? Yes. Bryant Mike? Yes. Deaton? Ellison? Yes. Godwin? Yes. Hale? Yes. Hall? Yes. Hicks. Yes. Johnson. Jones. Yes. Martin. Yes. Mercer. Montague. Yes. Nehoff. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Tippett. Yes. Wall. Yes. Watson. Yes. Unanimous motion passes. Uh, contract between the State of Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services in Madison County, Tennessee. Any discussion? Second. Second by Commissioner Wall. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointment of one member to the Jackson Mass County Airport Authority Board by CLB, one year term, James E. Ross, incumbent. Mr. Hale? Yes, sir. Um, uh, Mr. Ross is, um, is not seeking reappointment as the incumbent. And with that board, um, there's a requirement that a pilot always be on that board. And so um, they don't require them to be a good pilot, which is <laughs> fine. <laughs> Uh, and so, because of that, I'd like to nominate our very own Jimmy Harris. Okay. Ma'am Clerk. You should ask him about that. <laughs> All those in favor of the airport authority, um, Jimmy Harris, one year term, say aye. 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 All those opposed? <laughs> Congratulations to Mr. Harris. Appointment of one liaison <laughs> to the airport authority by CLB, one year term, Mike Bryan, incumbent. Commissioner Black. I'd like to pump, nominate uh, Aaron Ellison for that position. Okay. Second. We have a first and second for Mr. Ellison. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate Tony Neoff. Um, commission, appreciate you letting me serve as liaison on that board. That was a, uh, an eye opening experience to go out. Thank you. Second that. We have a first and second for Niehoff. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, we're going to vote Elson or Niehoff. Okay. Yeah. Abernathy. Um, Niehoff. A day. Neha. Alexander. Neha. Arnold. Ellison. Black. Ellison. Bond. Brown. Ellison. Bryant. Neha. Mike Bryant. Neha. Dayton. Ellison. Ellison. Godwin. Ellison. Hill. Neha. Hall. Neha. Hicks. Neha. Johnson. Jones. Ellison. Martin. Here we go. Mercer, Montague, Ellison, Nehoff, Nehoff, Taylor, Nehoff, Tippett, Nehoff, Wall, Nehoff, Watson, Nehoff. Nehoff got thirteen. Ellison got eight. Nehoff thirteen. Ellison eight. Appointment of seven members to the Cable and Communications Committee by CLB, one year term, Jeff Wall, Mike Taylor, Cindy Bryant, William Martin, Adrian Montague, Tony Niehoff, and Aaron Ellison incumbents. Mr. Chairman, I would like to nominate that we reappoint everybody, excluding yourself, and replace you with Commissioner Gary D. Second. We have a first and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes. Everybody except me and Deep.
the question. Appointment of eight members to the commission rules and bylaws by CLB, four-year term, Jeff Wall, Juanita Jones, Andy Hall, Arthur Johnson, Mike Taylor, Kevin Hicks, Tony Black, Tony Niehoff, incumbents. Commissioner Black. Commissioner Chairman, I'd like to point everyone except for Arthur Johnson replacing her with Sheila Godwin, Commissioner Godwin. Second. Second. Commissioner Walls. Uh, you got a second on there? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the, that, I did talk to Mr. Jo Mr. Johnson, and I know that that's who he's asking to be replaced, but uh, uh, my recommendation would be Jeff Wald, Juanita Jones, Andy Hall, Arthur Johnson, Kevin Hicks, Tony Niehoff, Mike Bryant, and Carl Alexander. Second. Well, first and second. And on that first appointment, I'd have to come off of it. Um, you weren't appointed, were you, on the cable? I thought they replaced you. Not on the first motion. They oh, replaced um, Arthur Johnson. Okay, Arthur Johnson. Okay. Yeah, well, you're already on it as an ex officio member, so you actually could stay on put there. Somebody else, well, you could put someone else in that spot, too, if you wanted. Okay. All right. How do we yeah, need to he, vote on this? I don't think this motion has no, Yeah, I, I'm off of it in in the second motion, which is the best way to vote on this, Joe. Do we have all names written down? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. Wait. Would it be the easiest to take two votes, one for the incumbents we all seem to agree on, yeah. and then do a second vote for the vacant seats? Mm -hmm. Sure. Would that be an option? That's absolutely an option. If uh, the, the body wants to take up the incumbents minus, I guess, Mr. Taylor and Mr. Johnson, and then you'll have two spots. But it's however the so body wants to think we'll address all agree it. of Jeff Wall, Juanita Jones, Andy Hall, Kevin Hicks, and Tony Niehoff. It's the you think that <laughs> well, I mean, that, the, the, the motions are the same except those names. If that's a motion, question. No, no, it's not a motion. I don't want to confuse it with another motion. That would be, I'm just, Mr. Chairman, you know, this is what uh, I, don't don't know. Know. I think. I think you probably need to vote the names that. That I motion. Each one except Arthur Johnson being replaced by Sheila Gott. And then the ones that he nominated, you vote on. So we need to. My nomination includes Commissioner Brown. Can we just vote Commissioner Black or Commissioner Wall's nominations? If that's the way the body wants to handle it, typically with appointments, you, if you have multiples, you're going to vote by name. Right. Um, that's going to be really confusing, obviously, with we probably have 10 or 11 commissioners, I think, who've been nominated. Um, so the body can certainly vote to do it in a uh, way that's, uh, I guess, more efficient. But I'll, I'll leave it up to someone to... How you want to do it? it it's, it's up to the body how you want to vote on it. Commissioner Martin. If it's, if it's easier to vote the way the motions have been made, which was one and two, yeah, one and two, two. then yeah. the body can do that. Um, That's fine. Is that okay with you? Let me ask you, Mr. Ball, were you taking off Tom Black? Uh, yes. It was going. Uh, the only ones that would be, or the two that would be taken off on my list was. Mike Taylor and Tony Black. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Twelve, y'all went and called all the names. Was no problem. When you get to thirteen, y'all act like y'all don't know what to do. Can you guide us? Can you guide us somewhere? No, you don't. You won't say that. I tried, but you could. So. I'll tell them. It's being taken off. Who is on an official member anyway? Mm -hmm. We don't need a, 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 a need to vote because you're talking about two different two additional individuals, and you'd have two additional seats if if uh, Commissioner Taylor's not on there. Except I heard something different. I don't think we make much of it. Mr. Chairman, I, I'd like to make a motion that we vote on the first motion that was made by yes. Commissioner Tony Black, and uh, I'd like to make a motion that we accept that 
Uh, nomination. Second. We have a first and second, so we're voting on the nomination by Tony Black. And by voting yes, you'll be voting for that motion. By voting no, you would be voting for Commissioner Wall's motion. Well, I, no, I think we'd, take it up we'd have to take that up separately. The motion was just to vote on the slate of candidates that uh, Commissioner Black named, and I'd recommend that that list be restated again. Okay, so everybody's clear. Commissioner Black, would you mind restating yes, it? Definitely. <laughs> With that, I don't know how difficult it is, but if you wrote the names down for everyone that we nominate, then we vote on that slate. I would assume that would be the way that we do it. He, when I named the people, I named that I, would, I made a motion to replace Arthur Johnson with Commissioner Gop. So that means Jeff Hall, Juanita Jones, Andy Hall, Mike Taylor, Kevin Higgs, Tony Black, and Tony Niehoff would be the names that we would vote on. He made a motion that named some different people. So when we vote on those, vote on mine, we vote on those. So I thought that would be the simple way to do it. Could Mr. Black, will you give me all those again, please? I, I can't write that fast, and I don't have a list. Jeff Wall, Juanita Jones, Andy Hall, Mike Taylor, Kevin Hicks, Tony Black, and Tony Niehoff. And being replaced Arthur Johnson with Commissioner Gott. All right, we're going to vote on Commissioner Black's nominees. Nominees. We'll vote on his first. His first, yes. Because Jimmy wrote that we vote on one thing that's it. Didn't you say, didn't you make a, a Well, we'll motion. vote this either up or down, and then yeah, we'll vote. Okay. Right. That's what we'll get played up. Commissioner Ellison. Uh, Mr. Chairman, to make it simple, to me, it would be you only vote for two people. Uh, Johnson, uh, got one. Everybody else is going to say the same on the list, but other than those two. There you go. There's two changes. Call for the vote. There's two changes. That's all. The only two I, I, I see him vote for. Well. Commissioner Arnold made a motion to vote for Commissioner Black, so that's what we're going to do first. Okay. Right. Roll call. Abernathy? Yes. Yes. Thank you. A-Day? No. Alexander? No. Arnold? Yes. Black? Yes. Bond? Brown? Yes. Brian Cindy? No. Brian Mike? No. Deaton? Ellison? Yes. Godwin? Yes. Hill? No. Hall? No. Hicks? No. Johnson? Jones? Yes. Martin? Yes. Mercer? Montague? Yes. Niehoff? No. Taylor? No. Tippett? No. Wall? No. Watson? No. Nine yes, 12 no. Motion fails. Now we'll vote on Commissioner Walls, and we'll be replacing Arthur Johnson and Mike Taylor with uh, Carl Alexander and Mike Bryan. Roll call. No. 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 Yes and no. 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 Point I don't think it's, that's correct. Yes and no. Read those names again. No, not Arthur Johnson. Okay. Mike Taylor and Tony Black. It was Mike Bryant for Taylor, Carl Alexander for Tony Bryant. Okay. Roll call. Abernathy. No. Ada. Yes. Alexander. Yes. Arnold. Pass. Black. No. Bond. Brown. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir. I pass. Thank you. Brian Cindy. Pass. Man. Pass. You pass? For right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brian, Mike. Yes. Deaton. Ellison. No. Godwin. No. Hill. Yes. Hall. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Johnson. Jones. Pass. Martin. No. Mercer. Montague. No. Niehoff. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Tippett. Yes. Wall. Yes. Watson. Yes.
Chairman. 11 yes, 6 no, 4 pass. Motion passes. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Hall is up front. You get 11 yes, sir? Oh. Yes. M motion to table till next month. Second. Second. Could be 13. Yeah, we got to have 13. Mm -hmm. Motion to table. Who's Mr. second? Jimmy, second. I second. Commissioner Brown? Yes, sir. <coughs> Mr. Attorney, point of clarification that you would give me. This Mr. Chairman, Mr. Till is, I mean, Mr. Till is the chairman. He's ex officio member. Would it be would it be proper for me to, to move that Ms. Godwin fill the, the, the uh, voting number that um, a seat that was normally by Mr. Taylor. Well, I think that would have been appropriate, but it's been tabled now. So it would require someone bring making a motion to bring it off the table. I move that we'll bring it off the table. We haven't voted on the table yet. All right, we got a vote. We haven't voted the table because we were in discussion. All those in favor of tabling the motion till next month, say aye. Aye. All those in favor? Nay. Motion's tabled to next month. Now, if you want to make your motion. I move that the, um, the seat that was held by Chairman Taylor would be filled by Ms. Godwin to complete the committee. You'd have to have the vote on filling the seats on that committee taken off the table in order to to do that. Right now, it's been tabled, so it, it can't be brought up unless the body votes to take it back up again. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Do you wanna make a motion? I'm not sure it can. Yeah. It may have to be on the other side. We have to vote it for it. Ms. Godwin. Okay. It seems like some of you are getting a little personal in regard to Mr. Johnson not being here. I was told that Mr. Johnson would be here last month. I was told he'd be here this month. Some of you know if he's going to be here or not, and you're saying that you don't know, but you do know. But it's, it's all right, Mr. Wallace. Appointment of one liaison to the Economic Development Commission by CLB, one-year term, Cindy Bryan, incumbent. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to uh, reappoint Cindy Bryan to that position. I'll say that. Second by Commissioner Hall. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed? Appointment of one member of the Education Foundation Committee by CLB, one year term, Gary Neese, incumbent. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we take 15, 16, and 17 all at one time. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Question. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, uh, in our discussion in the pre-agenda meeting, it was made known that these positions were not given the amount of time for people who want to apply and send a resume. And we determined that we probably would need to extend those people's terms for 30 days to allow people who would want to serve on those these particular boards to submit resumes. <clears throat> Am I correct? That's correct. Yes, so we did discuss that at the agenda review. Um, only one of the positions was uh, on the uh, agenda last month, showing to be considered this month. Um, and, and I'm happy to get into the background on how these three ended up on the agenda, if, if, if you want. But uh, um, you know, it, it was a uh, situation where uh, we had a. Uh, a uh, board member who'd been appointed by the uh, county commission who was told by the education foundation board that he was no longer on the uh, on the board of trustees and wasn't allowed to participate in the meeting that they had a couple of weeks ago um, after going back and looking through the uh, minutes uh, from past meetings I, I tried to put together a chronology of when these appointments were made and um, determined that the county hasn't really been following a tight schedule, so to speak, for making these appointments. And uh, I had suggested that uh, we appoint all three, reappoint all three to staggered terms this month. But um, you're correct in that if people wanted to submit resumes, they didn't have notice that all three positions 
were on the agenda this month, only one of the positions. Commissioner Alexander. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on uh, covering 15, 16, and 17 that we extend the current term of Gary Neese, Trey Cleek, Marcus Love by one month and then take this up for reappointment next month and when giving people more time to put in for the positions. Second. 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 Okay. All those in favor of extending these positions by one month, giving people opportunity, vote. Say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes. We'll take these up next month. Appointment of one liaison to the Enrichment and Development Center by CLB one-year term, Claudel Brown incumbent. Back in Boston, we reappoint Claudel Brown to the position. I'll second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointments of five members of the Excess Resale Property Committee by CLB, one-year term, Jeff Wall, Carl Alexander, Tony Niehoff, and County Mayor Incumbents, and one vacant seat. Commissioner Godwin. I uh, recommend that we appoint uh, Mr. Allison to the vacant seat. Second. Commissioner Bryant. Uh, I would make a uh, recommendation that we Point uh, Commissioner A Day to the vacancy. Do we have a second? Second. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. We question. Yeah, we open just discussion. Open discussion. My um, this is one of my committees, and that this uh. The reason there is a vacant seat is that the, the three meeting rule that we that the commission has on the rules of bylaws, uh, Commissioner Ellison had missed those three meetings. However, when we were getting all of the our tablets and everything else like that, he had made um, uh, he had talked to myself and also to Sarah that he did not get uh, those meeting uh, notices and things like that. He did. Uh, expressed an interest to me uh, about wanting to serve on this committee again, and so that's the reason I seconded the motion to put uh, Commissioner Ellison back. Call the poll to move second. I would draw the motion. All right. I move that he'll be elected back to Mason. Right. Did the motion include reappointment of the other members to the committee? Yes. We'll go ahead and vote on it. Appointments of all incumbents and Mr. Ellison. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointment of four liaisons to the fire department by CLB one year term, Jimmy Arnold, Arthur Johnson, Carl Alexander, and Juanita Jones incumbents. Motion reappoint. Second. Second by Commissioner Black. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Appointment of one liaison to the Jackson Arts by CLB one year term, Olivia Abernathy. Motion to sunset this committee. Second. Motion to sunset the committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Committee sunset. <coughs> Appointment of seven members to the Legislative Resolution Committee by CLB, one year term. Gary Deaton, Mike Taylor, Shea Godwin, Carly Bond, Cindy Bryant, Arthur Johnson, and Adrian Montague, incumbents. I move that all be reappointed. So. Uh, first and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Discussion. Any discussion? Sir. I, I do have a, a question about this because this legislative and resolution committee, you know, we've been here, I've been here five years, and we've used this maybe once, and because of the way we do our resolutions now through uh, other committees and everything else, I mean, I'm wondering why we don't sunset this one as well. It's a great observation. Uh, to add to that, I think this was formed before we had um, our parliamentarian as our attorney and so I believe that's one reason why we're not using this committee is because I believe the idea was that all resolutions that as they were drafted must go through this committee which we're not we're not doing that now which is why it hasn't met in <coughs> four years so I would second this motion to sunset Commissioner Godwin okay when I asked about this committee I was told uh, that basically uh, the attorney 
way she looks at that thing. We don't do this often, but I don't understand why we, um, why, why this committee hadn't been sunset, and why since we doing so much sunset, why we decide right now to sunset it. That would be a good idea. Probably. Because, is it because it, that's what? So what? This sounds like a good idea. Not to me. Okay. Let's let's address the chair. Yes. Um, we've got a motion and a uh, second to reappoint these members, and we need to vote on that first. We have a roll call. Abernathy. Yes. Ada. No. Alexander. No. Arnold. No. Black. No. Fine. Brown. No, I guess. Brian Cindy. No. Brian Mike. No. Dick. Ellison. No. Godwin. No. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sir, you heard. No. No, ma'am, I didn't hear you. That's all That's all right. Hill. No. Hall. No. Hicks. No. Johnson. Jones. No. Martin? No. Mercer? <coughs> Montague? No. Niehoff? No. Taylor? No. Tippett? No. Wall? No. Watson? No. Now we have a motion on the floor to sunset this committee. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Appoint seven members of the personnel committee by CLB one year term. Carly Bond, Tony Black, uh, Claude L. Brown, Gary Deaton, Joey Hale, Andy Hall, Cindy Bryan, incumbents. Commissioner Black. I move that we accept all of these nominees. Second. We got a first and a second on these nominees. Commissioner Bryant. I would like to make a motion that we appoint the following seven members Carly Bond, Claude L. Brown, Gary Deaton, Mark Hayday, Andy Hall, Cindy Bryant, and Juanita Jones. Second. All right. So, Chairman, for once again, who who are we taking off? The first vote is going to be to approve all of the incumbents. Okay. And then the second vote, if it doesn't pass, would be to um, to take up the second motion with the different names. All those in favor of. Approving the incumbents, say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. 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 Roll call. Everdath. Yes. Ada. No. Alexander. No. Sir. Sir. No. Thank you. Arnold. Yes. Black. Yes. Bond. Brown. Yes. Brian. No. Brian, Mike. No. Deaton. Ellison. Yes. Godwin. Yes. Hill. No. Paul. No. Dick. No. Johnson. Jones. No. Martin. Yes. Mercer. Montague. Yes. Nehoff. No. Taylor. No. Tippett. No. Wall. No. Watson. No. Can we restate the second motion with the names? Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. It is Carly Bonds, Claudia Brown, Gary Deaton, Mark A. Day, Andy Hall, Cindy Bryant, and Juanita Jones. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. 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 Roll call. Roll call. And before I go call, let me ask you, once again, who are we taking off? I believe it's myself and Tony Black. Myself and Tony Black. So if it's Tony sure. Black, take off that. Okay. Go. Abernathy. Pass. Ada. Yes. Alexander. Yes. Arnold. Pass. Black. No. Bond. Brown. 
No. Brian, Cindy. Pass. Brian, Mike. Yes. Deaton. Ellison. No. Godwin. Yes. Bill. Yes. Paul. Yes. Dick. Yes. Johnson. Jones. Yes. Is that a yes, ma'am? Yes. Thank you. Martin. No. Mercer. Montague. No. Nehal. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Tippett. Yes. Wall. Yes. Watson. Yes. Change my vote to no, please. I'm pardon? Would you please change my vote to no? I'd like to change my vote. Please, I'd like to change my vote. Yes. And Ms. Thirteen yes, six no, two pass. Motion passes. Number twenty-four. Appointment of seven members of the property committee by CLB one year term. Carl Alexander, Jeff Wall, Juanita Jones, Tony Niehoff, Mike Bryant, Adrian Montague, and Carly Bond incumbents. Motion to reappoint. I'll second. We have a first and second. All those in favor? Aye, aye, aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Appointments of seven members of the Solid Waste Committee by CLB, one year term Arthur Johnson, Mark A. Day, Gary Tippett, Cindy Bryant, William Martin, Luther Mercer, and Tony Niehoff, incumbents. Motion to reappoint. Second. We have a first and second. Commissioner <coughs> Wall. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointment of one member liaison to the Symphony Association by CLB, one year term, mm -hmm. Olivia Abernathy, incumbent. Commissioner Alexander. Chair, I recommend motion that we sunset this. Second. Can I just comment? Yes. Um, I, I just think it's important for us to be consistent. I know that we've sunset a bunch of liaison positions to nonprofits because we no longer fund nonprofits. Um, and so I think that it's just important that we be consistent on that basis so that there's no special interest or confusion Motion to sunset. Symphony Association by CLB. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointment of five liaisons to the West Tennessee Health Care Board by CLB, one year term, Juanita Jones, Kevin Hicks, William Martin, Andy Hall, and Jeff Wall, incumbents. Lift the motion to report. Second. First and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Appointment of two liaisons to the West Tennessee Hearing and Speech by CLB, one year term, Jeff Wall, and Joey Hill, incumbents. Uh, Commissioner Godwin. I'd like to make a motion to sunset. Second. We have a first and second to sunset. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes. Uh, appointment of four liaisons to the West Tennessee River Basin Authority by CLB, one year term. Bedford Byram, Carl Alexander, Aaron Ellison, and uh, Jimmy Stanford incumbents. Commissioner Alexander. Make a motion that we reappoint Carl Alexander, Aaron Ellison, and replace uh, Gary Tippett. Uh, uh, Bedford Byron with Gary Tippett and Jimmy Stanford with Richard Watson. Do I have a second? I second. We have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Election of notary publics. Commissioner Godwin. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm waiting to get to item 31. No comment on that. Make the motion <coughs> to rip. To accept the uh, first and second on notary publics. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed. Any and all matters related to and connected with matters set forth in items one through thirty. Commissioner Godwin. First of all, I would like to apologize to anyone that I may have upset or raised my voice to. I forgive you. 
And then, of course, highway departments. We fund that in law enforcement. Sorry, law enforcement. Saying that is to say this, uh, as far as superintendents being left off and, and other departments being left off. I understand that, but superintendent don't speak a lot. So that means, I guess, if we want him to speak, or if he wants to speak, as you say, he will speak. And he probably don't have a problem. He's not got a problem with that anyway, because he's not going to tell you how to run your program. But I just think since we fund the school system, I kind of, I'm kind of hesitant about leaving them off the uh, off here. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Black. Mr. Chairman, you know I get it. I am no longer on any committee within the county government. I get it. You know numbers. The numbers. But I say this, in all honesty and in all fairness, no one party has control forever. And I got elected to this body because I love to serve, but I think it's just really disingenuous that I'm not on any committee. Because of me. Because he has an issue about Please. Please. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with that. So with that, I said, I understand it, but as I say, nothing's forever. Mr. Mayor. I failed to recognize we have some leadership Jackson, class of 2023 participants here, so welcome. <laughs> Commissioner Brown. Yes, about almost three years ago, we acknowledged the urgency and this grace that we as a party, I mean, as a body, does not have a meeting place. We had a committee died and never reported anymore. Would, we, would you please, Mr. Chairman, consider appointing a committee to look into us having a meeting place? We were getting ready to bring in a lot of guests and a lot of other people. Uh, blew over, <coughs> it's embarrassment. You break by blue over, over and you don't even have a home to meet in. We, you know, don't have a home, but if we could look into that, and I would also strongly advise that uh, two-thirds of our county stays on this other side of the interstate, that that site be centrally located. Yes, sir. Commissioner Godwin. With this, I will be sitting down when I say this. It hurt me, the fact that Mr. Black nominated me, and after he nominated me, every spot, that he said, you guys, whoever you are, whoever, fellow commissioners, fought to get him out of the committee. I don't think if Mr. Johnson was here, and I love Mr. Johnson, he said some committees with, what was the problem with that? I took it personally. I'm not on a lot, you know, I'm not on a lot of committees. And you know what, I really don't care. I, I serve, but I don't have to be on the committee to serve. If you look at the paper, I've probably been on TV all day today, so. <laughs> so I don't have a problem. But I just think it's a problem, and I saw some faces. I saw the faces. It, it's in your face. You're in your emo emotions. When I saw <coughs> Mr. Black nominate me, and he, in the place of Mr. Johnson, and everything changed. We need you. Do better. Commissioner Black. Chairman, no, I, I, all, all due respect, Commissioner Godwin, I don't think that had anything to do with that. I think it's just the committee, uh, the numbers that the individuals wanted on the committee, that's who they nominated. And that, as I said before, that's politics. 
But <coughs> no one party has power all the time. So it had nothing to do with you. Thank you. Move the Roll call. Abernathy. Aday. Alexander. Yes. Arnold. Yes. 